we don't really have control over the world. That's the big trick. You know, we think we have to control children, we have to control people. Managers in companies believe that they have to control the people below them. Governments, kings, queens believe they have to control their subjects. Parents believe they have to control their children. Managers have to control their workers. Uh, generals, captains, you know, in military have to control those that are underneath them. Otherwise people would say, it's not going to work. It's going to all go chaotic if there's not control. But God didn't even create control. God didn't create all these bodies. God didn't create control. It's a mesmerism. It's a tangled web that the ego has made up to keep the mind guilty. To keep the mind from awakening and knowing its true, guiltless, innocent reality. The whole cosmos was set up with a false sense of control. And how glorious it is to start to realize, as Jesus says in the, in the Rules for Decision section, he says, you have no control over the world you made. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I have no control over the world I made. If you get into any effective spiritual awakening mindset or movement, like the 12 step program with Alcoholics Anonymous, they have to, the beginning steps of the 12 steps is to start to realize you were, we were powerless over our lives. We were powerless over the alcohol. We have to start to begin to first say that you're powerless before you can accept the higher power that will unwind you from the craziness. The addiction really wasn't the drugs or it wasn't the alcohol. It was the stinking thinking. It was the, the thoughts of the ego. It was the thoughts and the belief of the ego that was the addiction. Jesus Sermon on the Mount, judge not, lest ye be judged. The judgment was the addiction. And, and whenever we got caught up into judging, which our mind wasn't even created to do, we weren't created to be a judge. Judgment involves duality and multiplicity. Oneness isn't a judge of anything. Love doesn't judge. Love simply is. Byron Katie, love what is. Love has no judgments. But the judgment was the addiction, and then once we accepted that, once we bought the bait of thinking we had to be a good judge, then we are off into a world of illusions. And then we seem to have all these, even physical addictions, Jeez, the ego will project it out. You're addicted to cocaine, you're addicted to eating, you're addicted to breathing. <laughs> Most people don't even talk about those. We should have uh, Breathing Anonymous. <laughs> or all, all B O <laughs> B A <laughs> B A. <laughs> we'll call it B O breathing obsession. What's your problem? I'm I'm obsessed with breathing. I, it just goes on and on and on and on. Right? <laughs> That's our B O, not body odor. It's breathing breathing obsession. That's when you start to get to the thing. No, it's the thoughts underneath that's part of a body identification that's denying my spiritual reality. That's, that's how it works. You could take anything and you could start to see this is where the disorder comes in. And so, what is the answer? The answer comes down to guidance. If the Holy Spirit's in our mind and the Holy Spirit says, yeah, I can use whatever the ego made. Ego made judgment, I'll use it. I'll guide you. I'll guide you out of the maze of complexity. I'll guide you out of the maze of distortions. I'll guide you one step at a time. One seeming decision at a time. Like that prayer Sanji was talking about, I am here only to be truly helpful. It's like all you're doing with that prayer is saying, here I am Lord, I am at your service. Will you start to experience joy and happiness if you follow that prayer? Of course! You, you can't help but experience joy and happiness. Because that prayer isn't, isn't focusing on what you made, or how complicated or how tangled your earthly life seems to be. The, pro, the, the prayer is focused on the escape from that 
craziness, the escape from that distortion. And there's joy in the escape, just even opening yourself towards the direction of the escape. 